Hi and welcome. In this quick video I want to show you how to add multiple materials to a single object in Cinema 4D using cycles. If I was just using Cinema 4D it's a simple process. I have a cube here I've made it editable and then um, I have have the polygon selection tool selected here and I can just drag and drop these materials on. So I just dragged that uh, blue material it put it on the entire object. Now if I wanted to put this red color on one specific face here, I would select that face and then just drag and drop that material on there. And uh, I can come over here and drag and drop this blue material or green material on this side. So you can see I have this uh, pinkish red color over here, blue on top, and then on the right hand side we have a green. And that's how you would do it normally um, in Cinema 4D, but Cycles is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on a couple of things. So let's go ahead and turn on the Cycles. Um, and we'll do the real-time preview. So I have that over here. Go ahead and dock this somewhere over here. I think I can just, uh, let's just dock it on the right-hand side here. And um, and so I have, have the preview here. Of course, I don't see anything because I don't have any lights in the scene and I haven't pushed play. So I'm gonna make sure I'm, um, I've chosen what uh, to use here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the uh, GPU to render out. I'm gonna hit play and you'll see nothing. Um, so let's go ahead and add a light. So I'm going to go over here and add a light. And I want to change that to an area light from point to area. And then I will go ahead and move my area light over here and over here to the left. And as you can see that um, using the materials that are the Cinema 4D materials, you can't, you can't really use those. So we'll come over here and hit create and we'll come over here to cycles and put an object material on here. And I'll go ahead and drag and drop this onto my cube. And I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all of these tags out of here, the uh, materials and, and the selection tags here. So now um, to create a selection tag, um, it's, it's a pretty simple process. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this um, uh, area light here. I don't wanna see that here in the uh, viewport. So I'll just uh, click on that twice and that will hide it for me. With my select uh, polygon selection tool here, I'll go ahead and grab this right-hand side here. And I'm just gonna um, put a selection tag on here. And the way I do that is come up here to select and then come down, set selection, and then I can give it a name. So I'm gonna make this selection tag here. I'm gonna call that R-S-E-L-E-C-T. So right select, so that's my right selection. And then I will grab the top of the cube and I will make another selection and we'll call this top select or T T select all right so now I have two selections I've got a right and a top and now I just need to add an attribute to this cube a cycles attribute so I'm going to right click on the cube and come down to cycles tags and then this cycles attribute tag will allow me to put these um, selection tags into it to drive the materials on it so I'm going to come over here to the tag, uh, cycles tag, and then attribute tag, and then hit add attribute. And I'll double click on that to rename it. You, you have to do this, and uh, remember this is case sensitive, so you're gonna need to come over here and I'm gonna put right, C-L-E-C-T, so right select, and then I'll grab that tag up here and drag that into where it says tag down here. And then, so I have the right select, in both places there and now we need to do one more so I'm going to click on add attribute and double click on that that's going to be T T select and then I can grab this attribute here attribute tag and drag that into this tag down here and now it's ready to um, ready to go. So now we just need to edit our nodes and then we can put materials on here. So I'll go ahead and double click here on my cycles material. Oops. And let me grab that. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in here a, a mix shader. So I'm going to right click and come down to shaders and click on mix shader. And I'll drag and drop that in here. And it's real nice um, to be able to just drag that and place that in there. The next thing I want to do is um, 
make a color for it. So I'll just change this to, let's say, green. And we'll come in here, grab a green color, hit OK. We'll create another um, diffuse shader. And then I can just drag and drop that into shader 2. And then we'll make this a blue color. So we'll come over here and click on blue, hit OK. And now I've got red. I'm sorry, we've got green and blue. And that kind of turns it a greenish blue. So I, I just need to be able to drive um, that material color on, on the cube by its tags. So how do I do that? Well, the next thing you want to do is you're going to come in and put another, um, you're going to put an input on it, and that's going to be an attribute input. And then we want to drive the factor to factor over here. So I'll just come over here. I'm going to double click on the diffuse here just to minimize it to give myself some more room. And um, then we just need to put in uh, which tag we want to use. So either the T select or the um, R select. So you just double click next to the name here and then type in one of the one of your selection tags. So it's T and then when I hit enter you'll see that the top turns blue and then we're on our way. So, so this is where it made sense to me and then I wasn't sure how to um, Put an additional material on so i figured that out and we'll just open this up and the way you do that is just you kind of repeat that process and so what's cool is that you can hold down your control key so i'm going to hold down my control key and then select the diffuse here and then i can drag off a a copy of that and now i can just make another color here so i'm come over here and make a a reddish color hit okay and then we'll we'll create another mix shader right because we're just going to keep on doing what we did so i'll grab this mix shader and put it in here and if i just drag this i can put that in there and then it puts that as the base color again and then i can drag this guy in here and then so i've got a mix between that green and red which kind of gives it this yellowish orange color here and um, then i need another attribute tag so or note so let's go ahead and grab that oops control z let me just grab the I grabbed both of those. I just need one, so I'm going to grab that, move this over here, and we'll dra drag this factor to this factor, and then I just need to rename that, and this is going to be R, R select. I'll hit enter, and now you can see that we have the top is blue, and the right side is red, and then the rest of the cube is green. That's how you would drive it your materials based on selections. So I'm going to do another video here. Oop, I guess I didn't get rid of that. So let me go ahead and hit delete on. Oop, let me try again. Delete. I guess you can't do that. Delete. There we go. Um, so yeah. So in the next video, I think what I'm going to do is make something more interesting. So I have this uh, this uh, sphere here and I've made an emissive light. This is all one single object. So let's in the next video, I'll show you how to do that. Thank you for watching.